26, 2024. Looking good, everybody. Looking very good. <laughs> All right, guys. You oh. want you want to look taller? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we all do. Try the rule of thirds. Okay, what does this that is mean? This a style formula. The rule of thirds, um, it's a Hollywood trick that dictates that a man's shirt or sweater should cover only the upper third of his body, and his pants should fill out the lower two-thirds. Uh, the goal is to mimic, mimic the classic proportions of old-school movie star garb. Uh, think of Cary Grant, tailored slacks from the 50s, the high-waisted pants. See, I feel like that example, his pants are almost up to his nipples. <laughs> Very tall. I don't like nipple pants on men. Yeah. On women, I like a high-waisted pant. I like my, I like, I like the high, I don't really have a lot, but I do like a high-waisted pant. You can tuck your shirt in. I would like to see you in a high-waisted pant. Yeah. Yeah. I, think I would we, like I think to see have, that. I think I have a pair. You do? Yeah. Will you put them on sure. and like come out here one day and we can like judge? Sure. We're very, works. we're very judgmental. Around. Yes. <laughs> to make your long, your legs look longer. To make your legs, legs look, look longer. longer. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. You could also try. Remember in the '70s, Gelman, you had these, the stacked heel. Stacked. Stacked yeah, the heel. Stacked heel. What does that mean? Like, uh, like, like a Cuban the heel. The shoe. Yeah, a Cuban heel. Yeah. Like they, you know, they wore in Saturday Night Fever. Oh yeah, yeah. those sure. Yeah. The, the plat men's platform. Men's platform yeah, shoes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Whatever happened to those? Yeah. Well, we should bring them I, back. I have a few of those. <laughs> you don't? No, I do. We, there's, there's a brand that makes them that are really, they're really, they're great. Those the, are like sneakers, though. No. I'm talking about heels. And the front is also stacked or just yeah, the back? Yeah, the front too. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Come on, it's no, no, so no, no. chic. No, I couldn't do that. I love that look. No, I couldn't do that. Um, you know, I've been talking about this. <laughs> if you watch the show, I talk about it a lot. Should I get bangs? Should I not get bangs? Do I want bangs? Do I think bangs are cute? Are bangs cute right now? I had a bang, like a bang wig piece made that is allegedly easy to clip right in, but it's only allegedly easy to clip right if in if you have it. a stylist clipping it in for you. Did, Otherwise, did you like the bang? I always like a bang when I'm when I'm wearing it, but I also like the freedom of unclipping it and taking it right, out. Right, because if you do bangs, you're you're committed to that for six months, seven months, right? You have bangs. How are you feeling about your bangs? Not great. Not great. Yeah. I, I, I like your bangs. Yeah, I think they suit you. Have you always had bangs? No, this is a brand new thing. Oh, it's a brand new. Is, is the gentleman next to you with you? Yes. Okay, so tell me, take me through this. <laughs> What are the conversations like? Are they kind of like uh, existential about these bangs? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It changed my whole personality. It did. Oh. Okay. What was your personality pre-bang? Um, I think I was more, you know, ready to go out and do, do things in the world, and now I'm just kind of hiding behind the bangs. <laughs> personality because I'm already a person that's hiding behind my house but all I need are bangs. I do I do like bangs I think and I think they suit you that they, they look really nice on you well there's a French determination the French use ah, a specific okay uh, way to determine if you're supposed to have bangs okay would you like to hear what yeah, it is sure. right, we can all do this together okay, right uh, this if down. you're at home get out your pens and your pieces of paper to keep track of your score there's okay. a scoring involved okay so first you measure the height of your forehead using your fingers, one on top of the other. If your forehead is three fingers high, write down a one. If it's four fingers, write down a two. Okay. okay. If you hit five fingers, <laughs> uh, write down a three. So I'm a two. Who else is a two? I th okay. I'm a two, right. right? Okay. Yeah, you're a two. You're a two. You're a two. Okay. Next. Determine which part of your face is the widest. If it's your forehead, write down a one. If it's your cheeks, definitely my cheeks, I'm a two. If it's your chin, write down a three. My I chin. would say your jawline. My is, jaw? Yes, yeah, so that's, down a three you're a three. Me. So Mark is a three, I'm a two. You writing this what, down? What are you guys, are you keeping track? I'm keeping track. You guys have yeah. quit already. No, no, you're no, a two. No, okay, no, so you and I are a two. Two, we're two You're, two. Mark's a two three okay. so far. You're a two three. Yeah. Finally, check whether the distance between your eyebrows is larger 
or smaller than the width of one of your eyes. If it's larger, write down a one. Let me see. If it's smaller, write down a two. One. Right. Two. Two. I'm two. a two. I'm a two. Let me see. You're a two, I think. Your, your eye is wider than the space in between. I can't tell. <laughs> Can I get out of my chair? Yeah, get out of your chair. So far, so far, we have the same measurements, and I would like that to continue for us. Okay, calm down. I think your eye is wider than the space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, you're a two. So we're we're a triple two. We're a triple two. Mark's Everybody two, three, remember two. that. Mark is a two, three, two. two, three, two. Okay. <clears throat> if the numbers for your face is a one, 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 two, one, two, two, one, or two, three, one, <laughs> bangs are not for you. Oh, no. If your sequence is two, 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 which we can all agree is the perfect score. <laughs> Three two one, three one two, two one two, or three two two. A fringe could work for our face. A fringe, okay. bangs. Bang. Got it. Okay. It could work. It could. It could. Maybe, or maybe not. It okay. could. <laughs> could not. But it could. Okay. If your number is one three one, one one two, one two two, one three two, two three two, three one one, three three one, or three three two. Uh, a curtain fringe is perfect Ooh, for you. Oh, oh curtain perfect. fringe. Yeah, curtain bangs. I think I had curtain bangs once. <laughs> Did you check on your numbers? No, you didn't bother. It's too late for you. <laughs> I have a feeling you're a 222. You look like a 222 girl to me. Yeah. So it could work or it could not. Um, anyway, I just thought you'd like to know that, taking it into oh, right. your stylist. Right. One more great thing brought to us by the French. The French the give French, us, the yeah. French give and give. Yeah. They really do. Um, the U oh, check this out. The U.S. launches online passport renewal service. Oh, yeah. You have to get online, and then you have to get on another line. No, and no. Then you have to <laughs> The service is open to adults who are renewing their a regular 10-year passport that has expired within the past five years or expires in the coming year, okay? Okay. At this point, okay. the online passport renewal service is only accessible to, for Americans with a U.S. address. Okay. Okay. That's, Which is great. That's you great for us. You have to go to the post, post yeah. office, yeah. usually? Yeah, you can go to the post, post office and gather documents and mail them in. Yeah. Now you can just sit at, the, at your computer and do it. Yeah. That's great. Do it on your own. Um, that's great news. Yeah, it's great news. Yeah, I'm going to utilize that. Um, so, you know, weighted blankets were all the rage. Yeah. Um, but I find sometimes if I'm in a weighted blanket, I feel... Claustrophobic? Yeah, I feel very, like... That's not a weighted blanket. I feel that's, oppressed. That's, that's just me giving you a hug. Right. <laughs> That's me trying to cuddle. Well, they're saying that forget weighted blankets, swaddling, adult swaddling, oh. is going to help you sleep like a baby. Oh, I can swaddle too. I'm a good swaddler. No, 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 but I'm going to swaddle you. Do you want to try it? Right now? Yeah. Sure. So, let me, let me. Where, where should I place? Here, this where should I place my newborn baby? Uh, how about right in front of the table? Right in front of the table, right here. Yeah, why not? Okay. So don't lay down yet. Okay. Oh, good. We got a nice dirty um, <laughs> yoga mat. Um, so I'm gonna get my favorite blanket. So yeah, let's do it on the angle. Okay. Lay on the angle. Okay. Pull. Stop swaddling yourself. Okay. All right. You ready? Yes. He's too oh, big there to go. be swaddled. <laughs> Gilman, this is the dumbest idea you've ever had. <laughs> you know, we may bring an adult swaddling expert in to actually do this to both of you on air. It'll be a public service. Mark's, Mark's, Mark's going already. to bed. Mark's going to bed. I hope you're happy. You're going to have to do stump Mark for him. How do you feel? I feel, I feel great. Um, 
I'm, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I would like it. Being swaddled. It's being swaddled. Yeah, I'm not All sure right. I would like it. Okay. Well, we should have Art Moore come back and we'll yes. swaddle him. Yes, swaddle him. Here's I the knew yoga that wasn't mat. Work. There you go. Sorry, we apologize, guys. Sometimes we try things here, and they turn out to be really dumb. <laughs> well, they're really dumb. Hey there. Um, a teen sets the world record for largest feet and hands. Wow. Um, this, feet, this teen has filled some pretty big shoes. Eric Kilburn Jr., a 16-year-old football player at Goodrich High School in Michigan, oh. has officially set not one, but two Guinness World Records. Okay. He's, he's six feet, 10 inches tall, um, and his, his feet uh, measure 13, no, yeah, 13 and a half inches, making him a shocking size 23. Oh my God. In men's shoes, which is drastically larger than a typical range of eight and a half to nine for a man. Meanwhile, his hands cover 9.3 inches, much larger than the average 7.4 inches for those his age. Here's the thing. Okay, that's, yeah, that's better. It, because when you showed him with his own sneakers, they look proportionately, they look just normal. like me holding yeah. a pair of sneakers. Those are pretty You know big. what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it's good to put him next to a, an a average size person. And of person. course, Shaquille O'Neal has come to save the day. Um, he stepped up to provide high school with several pairs of shoes that fit him. Um, Under Armour and Reebok. Uh, several wow. shoemakers. He had to wear, he had to wear Crocs. 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 Yeah, probably. Yeah, and, but, but even in the winter, that. he would be wearing Crocs. Oh, so. that's too bad. Yeah. I'd like to see him in a few years when he's in college, though. When he's full grown. Yeah. He's, yeah, when he's full grown. <laughs> he's yeah, still I know. Growing. I know. He's only 16, so he's still growing. He's that's still growing. Crazy. That's, he's going to be. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, we. All right, well, we've got a huge show today. Uh, Niecy Nash Betts is here. And fall into the season we continues with tips for getting your skin ready for winter. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we just su summarized our skin. Yeah, well, now it's winterizing. Winterizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skin. All right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to play. Stop! All right, let's say hello to Christine Mack from Lexington, Michigan, who watches the show on WXYZ. And see, she says she wants to stump me because she wants to add the t-shirt to her collection. Oh. All right. Hey, good morning, Christine. How are you? Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Christine. Do you have a t-shirt collection? I do. I sure do. Of all the rock bands that I've been to, oh. um, rock concerts and stuff like that in different cities. Oh, concert t-shirts. Yeah. Concert Those are cool. All right. And listen. eventually I'm going to make a quote. Yes. Well, listen, you know how this game works. You go in as two statements. One is true. One is false. I have 60 seconds to figure out which statement is true. And if you stump me, you'll win this. Oh. And that. Oh. Here are Christine's two statements. I recently rebought the first car I ever owned. Huh. Or I've played guitar for more than 25 years. Um, okay, t tell me about the car. Did you get the actual car, the actual, the one that you had 20, uh, when, when, you, uh, when, when you owned it? Or is it uh, like the same type and model? No, it's the exact same car, a 69 Mustang. Ooh, a 69 Mustang. Okay. Yeah, and lots of real too. Was it, hard, was it hard to track down? Oh my God, it took my son and I about five years to look for it. Um, we were on Carfax, um, then I, we had to like put the VIN number and we couldn't find it. Then all of a sudden, um, we were looking again for the last time and we found it in a barn in Gaylord, Michigan off 75. Wow. Why are these cars always found in barns? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm so glad I have it back. I'm really happy, yeah. Did it smell the same? Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so tell me about the guitar. Uh, what, type of, what type of music do you, you, do you like to play on your guitar? I like playing um, Stevie Nicks, um, Crosby Stills, Nancy Young, 
um, you know, it's acoustic, I play acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar, got it. Okay. What did you think a car or a guitar would, would be, be in the a, Yeah, no, I'm trying to figure this out. Uh -huh. um, I like the first. I like the first one. I like the story of it. So, I'm gonna say you recently rebought the first car you ever owned. Oh, Mark, you're wrong. Uh. <laughs> you are wrong, Mark. <laughs> yes. Did you try to buy your car, the first car you owned? No, but I thought about it recently. I really have. I want to. I really do. You know, I, I want to start to look for it. I really do. I, yeah, I didn't ask her how much I it cost. I can't believe you fell for that when she clearly said she has a collection of, of concert, rock concert t-shirts. Yeah, well, congratulations. <laughs> you won the mug. You won the t-shirt. Now let's see if we can win you a valuable trip. It's time for Great Getaways Travel Trivia. <laughs> Let's spin that wheel and see if Christine can win a nice prize. All right. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's the uh, two nights at Walt Disney World before a five night Disney Cruise Line vacation for four wow. to the Caribbean on the all new Disney Destiny. It includes all meals and spa access. It's a prize valued at $14,500. You have 20 seconds and only one guess. All right, Christine, here we go. We've had Kelsey Grammer on the show. What hotel did Kelsey say his wedding reception was? Um, okay, I'm a little bit nervous here. Um, oh, it was at the Long Angle Theater. <sighs> no, that's where the wed that's where the ceremony was. Yeah, this is the re this is the reception was at the Plaza Hotel. Oh. I don't remember the answer to this. That was that was a hard one. Yeah, that was a hard one. But listen, Christine, you're still uh, you're still entered into our grand prize drawing for a 13-day voyage to Antarctica, and that is a prize valued at forty-two thousand dollars. So now you and a lucky member of our studio audience will each receive a five hundred dollar gift card to Fandango. So please pick a number between one and one hundred and sixty. 22 for my granddaughter, Avery. 22. Yes. <laughs> All right, Christine, thanks for playing with us when we return. Nisi Nash Betts is here. Still ahead on Live, Fall into the Season Week continues with tips for getting your skin ready for winter. We'll You used to do crazy stuff on this show. No memory of that. <laughs> yeah, no, you remember that? Yeah, yeah, I did. Show us you don't remember. I don't. I'm okay. Do Does anybody remember that? <laughs> That's why we have memories. Okay. I don't remember that. Hey, don't forget on tomorrow's show, Joshua Jackson will be here. Yes, and we'll share some fa fantastic fall bargains. And fall into the season, we continues with a guide to everything you can do with your fall Aww. apples. All right, because we just got some fall apples. Ashley, our very own Ashley Lewis, went apple picking and brought us all back some apples, which is nice. All right, she's an Emmy award-winning actress who does it her own way, and now she stars in the new FX horror series, Grotesquerie, I'm Afraid Already. Please welcome back to the show, Niecy Nash Bay. Smell 
Good. What is that? Thank you. You it's, know, is that your own scent? No, my better half buys me perfume. I never know what it is, where she gets it from. It's and nice. It's nice. That's what she smells. So it's thanks, nice. babe. Wherever you are. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Uh, Thank you. You recently went to Italy celebrating your fourth wedding anniversary. Four years that I've been nice. married. That was nice. tell you about that trip we had a time we actually we did a cooking class oh, amazing. Um, that was so much fun oh so I had a lot of bread right here and a lot of pasta right here <laughs> and I stepped into the canoe the G kayak gondola no kayak? it was something you do yourself kayak. kayak stepped into it and the next thing I know all of this meat flipped the thing upside down. We capsized. We capsized no. in the Mediterranean. My glasses fell off under the water. Oh. It was just a mess. No. But a good mess. A, a great, it was worth it. it was, was it worth it? It was worth it. Okay. I'm only mad because somebody got the video, and but they worked at the, you know, for the place. Yeah. So we were like, oh, could you please give it to us? He said, I don't, I, I don't have the video, and I know he has it. Right, right. I know he has it. Right. He just didn't want to get in trouble. Exactly. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? So, yeah, because, he, because like, you, you're a tourist, and, and, and you yeah. went overboard. Yeah. That's, yeah. like, not what they... But it was my fault. <laughs> so I was like, please. But you were laughing the whole time, right? Oh, we had a time. It's mm. all on my Instagram, y'all. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, I was like, I, why do I feel like I was on this um, trip? Yes. Oh, from Instagram. Instagram, <laughs> yes. So, uh, you know, you recently, uh, pre you were a presenter at the Emmy Awards. Yes. Which, by the way... It, it, it was so funny because uh, we were flying home mm -hmm. and we didn't even realize the it Emmy was the Awards because yeah. it was like a it was like a strange year for the yes. Emmys because yes. of the actor strike and everything that had happened. Yes, you presented alongside Don Johnson and Jimmy Smith. We did oh iconic cops, I and I played so many cops. I was like, which, which one? one? Which one? <laughs> and, uh, but they said Rainisha Williams from Reno Nine. Of course, right? Yes. That is true. That is true. Yeah. And no. congratulations on your Emmy win earlier this year in the role of the, uh, the Jeffrey Dahmer story. Oh, thank you. No. I've got to tell you, you gave the most brilliant, I know we talked about it before, but that performance still stays with me. Oh, thank you. You were so, as you are in everything, remarkable, and you gave an absolutely incredible speech. Yeah, I didn't Which know. I also didn't see until the next day. Wait a minute. I right. didn't know it went viral right. until yes. the next day. <laughs> right. You know, you win, then they take you backstage. You got to take all the pictures and do all the mm -hmm. things. And then my, uh, we we went skinny dipping. Right. Uh, right. We did all the things. And when I finally looked at my phone, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, I'm trending. What happened? I didn't realize it. But be so the nun played by the beautiful Michaela Diamond, knows a lot about the church and what some of the symbolism means. So she's an unlikely partner in it all. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Courtney B. Vance yes. is also in this. Yes. Um, how how is it like getting into these Ryan Murphy shows each time? Like, what, what does he does he call you and say? Do you even ask anymore? What, no, what he wants you to he do? He just calls and says, "Hey, I've got this thing I want you to do." <laughs> right, and, and I you just, don't even ask no, questions. No, no, I just say okay, and I wait for my script. Yeah, I don't I don't even ask anymore. We also had a newbie in our show, uh, Travis Kelsey. Yes. He was okay. also a part of it. I yeah. bet you the crew really liked that. Oh, the let me tell you something. I have never seen so many big, tough guys fangirl out. <laughs> right. I'm like, relax, guys. Did but you know who Travis Kelsey was? Yes, I did know who he was because I was at the Super Bowl that he played in with his brother. Okay. okay. That at Super Bowl, my better half and I went, so I knew of him. Right. But you know, I, I didn't really know all the yeah. things. What is he like as an actor? Is he a good actor? Oh my goodness, he is so charming. Really? He's lovely. He comes to work prepared. He's got nice eyes. He has very kind eyes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> all of that. So I mean, he, he's a he's a great guy. He really, really is a great guy. We're gonna go see him play uh, when we get back to LA.
Great. Are you all, do you, is, like, is there a grotesquerie, and I, I think I may have asked you this during Dahmer, is, is there like a, a text chain? A group chat? Yeah. <laughs> you know, not on that show. Uh -huh. There's not a, a, a group chat. I mean, I've spoken to Travis directly, uh -huh. uh, but somebody said, ooh, wait a minute, I'm married and he's <laughs> here does not have a group 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 text the one that i did with ava duvernay many years ago selma yeah. we've been on the same still group going. chat yeah what has that been now eight years I don't wow. know. Wild. we still have the same group wow. chat yeah so when you and so i've got to ask like yeah this is like i said this just the title of this show grotesquery scared me to death yes. i was like you kind of know what you're signing up for it's yes. right there in the title yes what draws you to your roles besides Ryan calling you? To be honest with you, playing something I've never played before. Uh -huh. And this woman is dealing with addiction in her personal life. Mm -hmm. It is bleeding over into her professional life. But she's an alcoholic. I've never played that before. Mm -hmm. So I thought, ooh, let me, you know, find that in my instrument. You know what I mean? And so I was happy to just discover something new in my art. So that was and people plug them in their bedrooms, put them on October 1st, turn them off around May 1st, wow. especially you if you live in the cooler areas yeah. of, you know, and, and as your producer pointed out to me before, the mountains, even northern California, oh, yes. mm -hmm. you need a humidifier. And don't forget and to refill them. Yeah, refill. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that would yes. be a bad yeah. otherwise. Uh -huh. yeah, absolutely. Right. Um, in the middle, we don't have a shower here, so taking showers. Mm -hmm. um, you really need to use something that is like a shower that's like 98, 99 degrees, maybe 100 degrees, but not 100. 103, 104, 105, not scalding hot. Why, Kelly? I like no, to be Kelly, able to cook no, a Kelly chicken that, in my shower. Cook a chicken. No, but that would dry your skin out. We're really no, irritating your skin. It's yeah. really, really bad. It's bad. Nice what and I warm you, bad in there. I know. No, 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 no. no. And speaking of showers, I like the moisturizing body washes. Ah. They have humectants and glycerin huh. and emollients in them. So they really moisturize your skin as you're bathing. Okay. Well, in your case, as you're boiling yourself. As I'm boiling. <laughs> and I just add soaps. carrots and yeah. a little onion in there. <laughs> right. Most bar soaps, but not all, can really dry out your skin. They mm -hmm. strip the skin mm -hmm. and they can leave your, like your, actually your protective covering of your skin stripped. They leave you dry and itchy. So not, but not all, but most, but I recommend the body washes. Okay. Plus I have underlying eczema, so that's just my proclivity. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then your lips. I mean, lips. your lips take a beating all year round, mm -hmm. especially during the cool weather months. So I like the petroleum jelly, really, really important to put on sunblock, re keep reapplying the petroleum jelly. But if you're looking at lip balms, pick a lip balm that has glycerin in it, that has emollients in it, that has humectants in it, and put that on multiple times throughout the day. What That's about scented critical. products? Do scented products lend scented something? lip balms yeah. can really irritate the skin. Yes. This time of year, we get a lot of people in our office that have like perioral dermatitis with the kind of like the red, red bumps around their mouth and that can be absolutely awful. And then if you put cinnamon in your tea, oh. that will make it worse. Ay, ay, ay. Chúng ta đang ở đâu đây? Mình đang ở trong cái chuông. Thôi đi ra khỏi lớp bảo vệ coi. Ồ khoan 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 khoan. Lại ông này khác. Tóc tím. Ai thích tóc tím dơ tài Tụng thích đi Rồi cái 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 thằng hồi nãy đâu rồi Hồi nãy nó mới chém tôi Khốn lạn Để bây giờ một địch ba cho các bạn coi nè Đó Ngồi chưa, ngồi chưa Phụ bốn luôn Không sao, không sao Mình tự cân hết Đó Tự 
tụi nó chỉ chém chém ngứa ngứa vậy thôi chứ không làm gì được tôi đâu Trời nè, đó, một đứa, hai đứa Thằng kia còn nằm dãy dãy kìa Xong Còn em lại đây nót cài Đùa U u u u Bộ nó nằm dãy dãy hết rồi U Một em Xong Ủa còn nhiêu rồi Ba đứa nữa hả Ba đứa nữa Một đứa nè Hai đứa nè Bây giờ mình dụ ba đứa mình trụm là mình quánh một lượt cho nó nhanh Đó Đó cái mình đứng dưới đây nè Thấy không Nó đâu có quánh được Ê lộn lộn Ê té 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 à Quơ 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 cái gì mà quơ 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 